So what we're actually doing here is we got this offset up here driving this tool and the offset all it's going to do is just going to weeble wobble. Now as it weeble wobbles it only forces on one corner of this square or after we grind it dished tool bit and that's going to broach its way through the hole so taking a little bite each time we need to make sure that the broach has a little bit of a dish here and that there's a relief angle ground into each four sides so that we can clear as we're going through the hole. That's pretty much all there is to it. And we're through. And there you have it. That's the simplest rotary broach tool you'll ever see. First up, we're going to chuck up these rounds in the lathe. And this is going to be the broach holder with the perfectly centered divot for the ball and the drive with the offset pivot. Now I know from watching the analytics on YouTube that uh, you guys skip over all the machining stuff. I'm gonna save you the hassle, not even put it in the video. Just imagine this thing turns and chips come off and you know what happens. Well kids, let this be a lesson to you. Never ever throw anything out. Can you believe it? I don't have a big ball bearing in my toolbox. So uh, yeah. If you happen to have a 2209 double row self-aligning bearing in one of your pieces of gear, you're going to want to look away. It's for the greater good, not to worry, it's for the greater good. Ours is not to question why, and so forth. Boing. There. It's only missing one. Off to eBay she goes. So I got the wobble drive here. I don't know if it's a wobble drive or not. I just picked that word up. I got the wobble head tool holder here kind of fleshed out and instead of using the four jaw universe or the four jaw independent, using the three jaw in order to machine the offset. I got about 40 thou shim in there. So that means there'll be a oscillation of 40 thou. It's at the tool cutter four inches down. It won't be, yeah, it'd be fuck all, really. I don't know if that's even enough. I just hammered my tool steel into the holder here, and I'm going to do some grinding. So, on the cutting edge, I want it to be a hemisphere, and, and an easy way to do that is just on the edge of the grinding wheel, if you rotate like this, because the grinding wheel is round, uh, you're going to get a hemisphere. It's as simple as that. Are you going to get a dish in there just naturally? Try ourselves a little clearance here to allow it to wobble in the hole. Now you might recognize this sacrificial plate from such hits as Little Screwy. The death of Little Screwy. Little Screwy returns. Nightmare on Screwy. Little Screw <laughs> Little Screwy versus Jason. Now we got our 3 8 hole. We're gonna put a little astroglide on there and here comes the magic. This is a wobble drive with a ball bearing in there and then the tool bit so we're going to turn this real slow and it's going to make this wobble which will in turn will make the square tool bit uh, broach this hole, rotary broach this hole well clearly my dead reckoning was dead wrong so I went ahead and cut this half in two so by shortening this, that should give us more stroke on the bottom, and hopefully it works now. I, however, have my doubts. Got the little baby Pratt & Bernard 5 inch universal out, and I got the you know, 8, 9 inch uh, 4 jaw. So I'm going to offset this about a quarter inch. Hopefully that'll give us what we need. There we are, that's not a bad little offset. Hmm. Now the 
question is, is it broaching or is it wrecking the bridge board? Oh my god. Hey, <laughs> hey, it's it's broaching. Just gonna speed this up a bit. And we're through. There we are. Rotary broach. And it actually worked. Take it easy at the start until you can see it's in its track. It's going to want to try and walk around on you. Okay, it feels like it's in its track. We're going to crank up the speed. So there's the back side, and that's the chowdery looking chip. What's happening is it every time it does one rotation, it's taking a tiny little bite and forcing it down through here. The next time you need to drill a hole in steel that's not round, or in my case, oval, go ahead and impress your friends with your machining knowledge and knock together a rotary brooch. Thanks for watching. Keep your stick on the ice. Bit and then silver solder it in. I want a little meat on there so I'm not going a full half inch which is basically ah fuck yeah anyway I'm drilling a hole